something to say. Take a look at what happened. Oh. The elections is what? It's a tight context. It's a very, very tight context. Mm, I say to myself, let me pray over it. Since the bullet did not kill the truth, the truth will prevail. Yeah. Hallelujah. Narrow. The difference will not be big. Just mm, tongue and teeth, just narrow. Mm. It's a very tight context. So, even a bullet cannot kill the truth. A gun cannot kill a truth. Truth remains truth. That narrow escape is also a narrow victory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Our prayer is that everything should be clear, transparent, plain on the table. Truth will come up, okay? Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, we can. NBC we can call News it. projecting that Wisconsin was won by Donald Trump, and therefore, as you see on your screen, we are now projecting that the next president of the United States is Donald Trump. He will reclaim the White House. The 45th president of the United States will become the 47th president of the United States, being elected for non-consecutive terms, a feat that has not been achieved since Grover Cleveland did it back in 1892. And there's the map. 276 electoral votes. You can see how he did it there. The blue wall has been shattered uh, once again. Wisconsin putting him over. Chuck Todd is standing by the big board. Uh, we're going to take a look at precisely how he was able to do it in Wisconsin. Uh, but Chuck, president-elect, president -elect. Donald, Donald J. Trump. And more importantly, he's going to win the popular vote. It's not done yet. It's, you know, there's still more, but it, it's very likely. This is not like 2016 or 2020. He's going to be only the second Republican to win the popular vote this century. And by the way, we are now going to have three straight one-term presidents. The last time this country elected three straight one-term presidents was when a guy named Grover Cleveland won non-consecutive terms. It was in the aftermath of the Civil War, of post-Reconstruction, and frankly, I do think an era that rhymes with the era we're living in now. We were fighting about who's an American. It was a very, it was a very divisive time. We had five straight presidents, excuse me, six straight presidential elections then, decided by five points or less. We are now on our six out of the last seven in this country decided by five points or less. But let's take a look here, because in many ways, how he won Wisconsin is how he won Pennsylvania, is how he won there. So let me just show you, here's Harris in Milwaukee County. This is what she was counting on here, just so you can see here. She just didn't get the same amount of vote out here. Just, uh, you know, and look, we're talking a state only decided by 30,000 votes, but she lost a little bit of ground there. Then you look at Dane County. She lost just a little bit of ground there to him. And it was just a little bit everywhere. And then you go and take a look at a place like Brown County, and Trump gained a little bit in all of his red counties. And you go along the lake here, and he gained a little bit. In fact, what were the Harris folks counting on in the, in the northern tier? That in these rural counties, older white women would come over to their side. But his improvement among Hispanics, among younger voters, particularly men, clearly created the combination here because it, it, it is similar across the board. The college towns were not as democratic. The urban areas, turnout wasn't uh, uh, as much. And even in the suburbs, uh, the turnout for Democrats was good, not great. And they needed great, especially if they were going to continue to lose the amount of Hispanic voters that they ended up losing tonight. Now, who is a prophet? A prophet is bigger than every leader. It is someone, he is someone that guides a nation, guides a people. He gives deep revelation about what is to come. Which means if you obey his voice, he can guide you. Before he comes, you are aware of it. Amen. Mm. It is very difficult to destroy the truth. No matter how old terror is. 
truth wins battle. Tell your neighbor, truth wins battle. We believe that after watching this documentary, you are touched in your heart to be part of this commission.